Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Listen, you guys, <coughs> some of you, um, I saw in some comments, some of you were like, I don't think that's Kelly. Her fingers look different. It doesn't sound like her voice. And before I get started on this reading, listen, you guys, I sped up the video after I recorded it so that the processing time wouldn't take so long. So I know I sound like Alvin and the chipmunk's little sister, okay? But it is me, so don't worry about it. Um, you'll get used to it. Just the processing time has been taking a while um, after because I record the video and then I create it and add all the stuff to it, which and then I have to upload it, which takes a really long time, and then I have to get it over to YouTube, and then they have to process it and upload it. So it's like this four, sometimes five step process. Anyway, it's still me. So um, there you go. That's all I have to say. Okay, so Virgos, let's get into your reading and see what the love messages are. So listen, you guys, um, I am going to um, do this reading right now, um, the 20th through the 25th. So it's going to be for the week, okay? Um, I'm not going live, but I'm going to premiere live because I want to see what the Christmas messages are going to be for you guys and the week going forward, okay? And I'm just going to not just look at love. I'm going to look at whatever comes up, okay, starting on um, the 21st Wednesday all the way through um, Christmas Day, the 25th. So 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th, okay? And also we'll take a look at the 23rd's new moon. Okay, so let's get into your reading, right? Please do smash that like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get going here. Oh, okay. I'm not going to take these because they flew out and I really wasn't asking for anything here. Okay. Show Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, the 21st. What are the messages, the energy for December 21st? Okay. So you have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> okay. Virgo, you're stressing <laughs> and you're shopping or you might be shopping and there's like a little bit of greediness going on with your shopping um, or you might be stressing over money on the 21st or, you know, it's the queen of presents. You might be feeling like I don't have much in the way of presents or I can't give much this year um, due to financial. Like you might be feeling like you got to take out loans or use credit cards okay um that kind of stuff for the holiday especially you know um it doesn't have to be christmas it could be hanukkah you know because i believe it's hanukkah season now too so there's a lot of messages coming in here um or a lot of holiday situations or gift giving queen of pentacles is like stressing about money i feel like on the 21st okay stressing out about money virgo taurus capricorn Wow, when I'm on my cards reversed. Okay, and the world. <laughs> the world is in the reverse. Virgo, this is like delays. There's delays too. Um, some of you are not getting packages in. Some of you, um, the weather, there's going to be a weather delay beginning on the 21st um, or some travel delays or problems like that, feeling out of sorts. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel bad, Virgo, if you're going through, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm heading to the airport myself on the 22nd, so there could be some delays for me as well, but yeah, this just kind of feels like, um, it's like, am I going to be able to follow through with something here? I, I'm not sure what's going on fully. Um, I feel like there might be a, a delay in travel or somebody that you're connecting with. There's a delay in travel with that person maybe coming to see you or you going to see them on the 21st or just finding out some information okay all right so page of wands here okay so i do feel like there's like a lot of excitement and enthusiasm about the holidays um i just see some small setbacks here virgo I don't feel like it's the end of the world, okay? It might feel like it because I know, Virgo, you like to have kind of everything. You like to dot your I's and cross your T's. You like to have everything like in order the way you'd like things to be. 
the page of wands does gives me it gives me a sense of like you know um somebody's really active to get some stuff done but they're gonna have some some delays about making something happen okay um and somebody's super super excited about connecting um or traveling they're just gonna be late <laughs> Uh, presents might be late, gifts might be late, that kind of stuff. But I still see enthusiasm in regards to this on the 21st. So I don't feel like there's anything really, it, like it, it, somebody's going to arrive. They're going to be there. They're going to come, okay? Or, or a package is going to come in. Don't worry. It'll be in on time is what I'm hearing. Okay. One more thing. They just said get one more card. Okay king of potions so this is a king of cups so you could be connecting with a king of cups um cancer scorpio pisces energy um okay for some of you as far as like a person this could be a connection with that person okay um where there's a delay but then there's also like that page of wands gives me that sense of like making plans, I have new ideas, you know, um, in movement, like getting ready to go. It's like, yes, going to do something here. Um, I'm going to have to reschedule or set back a couple of days or something along those lines. It could be that person. Um, it, it could be for some of you, it could be you. Um, but no, I'm not really picking, like I'm saying it could be, but that's because at first I was feeling that, but I don't feel that energy. So it, you know, it, yeah, it's another person, a male or a female. There's a getting together and there's an energy of receiving something. It's just going to be a little bit of a, a delay. Okay. But somebody has got a bottle of champagne or somebody's ready to celebrate or connect or, you know, either connect with you or celebrate with you, or you're going to have the bottle and be like, yay, now I can relax. Everything is working out finally. You know, there's just this little setback. Okay, I'm getting off Wednesday. Let's check out the 22nd. What's going on for Thursday, the 22nd? Okay, look at this. Doesn't that look like Santa Claus? Oh, the emperor is here. Okay, but in the reverse... And the king of presence in the reverse. And the eight of swords in the reverse. Hold on. And five of cups in the upright. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. All right, okay, I'm just seeing, um, this is gonna sound really crazy because I don't think I've ever brought a message like this before. Um, uh, so it's the, it's the eight of needles and I'm just seeing needles shooting down like rain. So I'm just seeing like somebody's kind of like upset about rain. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's somebody's name is rain or there's actual rain. Okay. So that's the first message I'm getting. Like, it's just very disturbing. Somebody's kind of down about some rain of some sort. Um, now the Ember in the reverse, I feel like Virgo, listen, I feel like you're going to be a real nasty ass on Thursday. <laughs> like, I kind of feel like, I don't know what's going on on Thursday, but I, you're going to be grumpy. Um, like, there's a dark cloud over you. You're just going to be like, you're, I feel like you're going to be snapping at somebody or maybe snapping at some people. I, I just see you being kind of like a real nasty ass. What the hell? Get drunk, Virgo. Go have some, like, I don't know, whiskey, a couple of shots. Go have some, I don't know, something sweet, liqueur, just to go. Like, you need to relax about something here. Why are you in this? Look at this. And now you have the nine of presents in the reverse. Okay. 
listen, this is a full on holiday reading. I'm not even kidding. Um, it has to do with like presence. I swear it has to do with like them not being there, not being able to, I, I feel like you're going to be nasty to yourself. Like something about not, not either gifts, not arriving, which I felt like they were going to come or a person. Okay. But yeah, this is just the stress. I just feel like you have some stress. Okay. Hold on a second. They're giving me Yeah, it just feels like um you, some of you might have to work too. I just heard that. You you might not be expecting to work and you get called in by your boss, the emperor in the reverse, and you're pissed. Okay. You're mad for some of you, like the rain is falling down. You're really depressed. Some of you might not have been scheduled to work or you weren't planning to work. And now you have to, um, and some of you are just pissed or just annoyed that you have to go in on this particular day. Maybe the weather's not good or something along those lines is happening here. Okay. Um, and as far as like gifts and stuff, I, I just kind of feel like, there might be somebody connected to you who is telling you um, they don't want any presents or something for Christmas or the holiday, but there's also an energy of someone saying, um, I, for I didn't get you anything and you might be sad about this. Um, there's also an energy of um, somebody complaining you might tell somebody that you got something or you spent a lot of money and somebody because the emperor is in the reverse this is just if it's not you there's just somebody in your environment on the 22nd this could be an aries that's um i don't know you're button heads with you're butting heads with but for some reason you you have to, like, you're, you're going to be with this person on Sunday. Like, you have no choice. You have no choice. And I just heard somebody might have a flat tire. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody might ha get a flat tire while they're driving. There might be, like, somebody has to repair a vehicle or something along those lines. Or there's just, like, even, like, a weather event. So you're going to have to like, you might lose a tire or something along those lines. Okay. Something about a tire. Now, I don't know. These messages are extremely specific and they're very strange. Okay. Let me check out and see what your moon message is. What's your moon message here for the 23rd? New moon, new moon message for the 23rd. Okay. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. So something's going to shift on Friday. Luck is on your side. Okay. And this is going to be the new moon in Capricorn. So let me just tell you what that message is specifically. Your hard work is paying off. Okay. New moon in Capricorn. So the 23rd. So you know what? I feel like whatever stresses that you have at this time Virgo going starting in the holiday season in love in career in you know um it just the holiday stresses like everything that, the effort that you're putting in now or that you have been putting in I feel like things are going to actually pan out for you I do and that new moon is you're going to see that that new moon in Capricorn you are definitely going to see that energy playing out um it's going to be like a delay. There's going to be some delays. Okay. But I do feel like Wednesday and Thursday are a little rough going. Let me see what other message there is here for you for Friday. Because things are kind of up in the air. Why are all my cards? Hold on. We're starting over. If that comes back out, let it come back out. Yeah, I just feel like things are going to be kind of like, ooh, all right, yeah, it came back out again in reverse. So this is good because it's a 10 of wands in the reverse, which means the burden is going to lift. So I feel like Friday, 
you're gonna get a chance to take a break. You're gonna get freedom, things are gonna lighten up. I really feel like the next couple of days are just gonna be like, oh, oh, you know, let me just get through this, let me just get through this, let me just deal with this, and then everything will work out and things will be, and then I can relax for the weekend, and here you go. The 10 of wands. You're gonna like, the burden will be lifted, the, no chip on your shoulder. Um, you won't be in that energy of like stress and exhaustion and like carrying the weight of everything. It's gonna lift, okay? And you're gonna get, you know, whatever hard work you've put in, you're gonna feel like, oh, now you can really enjoy this weekend. I really feel that way, it's going on here, okay? Yep. So the nine of needles here, which means going from that stress to the stress lifts, right? So Friday, look forward to Friday. Plan that, plan Friday night to just, you got the weekend, it's the holiday weekend. Take Friday night and just do, be merry. Just do whatever you need to do. Everything is gonna, everything is gonna pan out, okay? It's always like the few days leading up to the holidays, right? There's travel delays. I know there's a big snowstorm hitting some areas of the United States. I don't know what the weather is in other parts of the world, but we're in the U.S., so that's something that I know about. Um, everything is slowing down, packages, deliveries, lots of traffic. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff, the hustle and bustle. So, I don't know, this, this reading is predictive and then some of you have to work and you still have so much stuff you still got to get gifts you still have so much you got to do the weekend feels like okay you know i can at least let something go because i've accomplished something or i finished something okay yeah and here's the page of presents wow all these present cards showing up perfect for a christmas reading um Some of you are going to receive something in the mail. It could be a card or a gift from someone special. Someone telling you that they're thinking of you. Um, maybe it's a gift card or they somebody hands something to you or sends something to you. It's a nice little, um, if it, it feels like a gift card. Uh, somebody's getting a gift card, either picking one up and giving it to someone or receiving it, okay. Show me, listen, I just want to ask about love for the weekend. What's the love messages for the weekend? Okay, ooh, we got the Hierophant. Some of you are going to be in a committed relationship by this weekend. Okay, the Five of Wands. Yep, there's somebody here who's going to be fighting for this. Fighting for a, a committed relationship. Yep, there's judgment. So for some, there's a reconciliation situation happening um over the weekend here a final decision a wake-up call you might be getting a phone call from someone um and it feels like this person is there's a little bit of um witty banner with this person or um some back and forth kind of um ask you know like it's like some there's a challenge I mean, they're giving me a challenge teasing i just heard teasing two people teasing each other like going back and forth with some kind of wit witty banter or maybe some sarcasm going back and forth but there's an energy here with this hierophant of like somebody is or two people are recognizing like there's a wake-up call here like this is my person there might be a christmas proposal for someone just out of the blue like completely unexpected all over the over the weekend or at least during the hol this holiday season definitely um yeah here's the moon somebody's going to reveal their feelings for you over this weekend 24th and the 25th this person has been thinking about this the five of presents yep they've been thinking about this their feelings and their emotions beginning to come to light They've been contemplating. You might already know who this person is or someone's been contemplating, connecting with you, maybe asking you out. Again, hard work paying off. For some of you, that could have something to do with that message I was giving you as well. Your hard work paying off. If you've been in a relationship or a connection with someone or you've just been in and out of relationships and things not working and you've like felt like, man, you've really paid your dues, 
Well, Virgo, I feel like your hard work's paying off and something's actually going to come to fruition here for you. You are going to connect with someone and get into a loyal, traditional, beautiful, wonderful, committed relationship. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Pisces. It um, could be a Scorpio. It could be an Aries for some of you. Let me see. Not much in the way of all the major arcana. Could be another. Um, it could be a, another Virgo or a Capricorn as well. Okay, but somebody even asking if you know they could date you and want to be together, be exclusive with each other. Okay, so show me one message for the twenty fourth. What does Virgo need to know? For the <laughs> temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Virgo, I feel like you're going to be completely floored. You're going to be leveled. Um, be careful if you're drinking. <laughs> um, that, you know, because some of you might like, I don't know, hit the floor. You might stumble. Be careful because I'm seeing that. Um, if you're out somewhere, if you go out somewhere, I feel like, you know, you might have a little too much to drink and then you might be sideways. You might go sideways a little bit here with temperance. Um, there's something to do with excess or feeling out of control. Okay. Um, that's for Saturday, the 24th. So if you're, I don't know, Christmas Eve, if you're doing anything, um, or if you're being merry or celebrating on Christmas Eve, I think you might get a little... <laughs> you might have a little too much fun. Maybe you need it, Virgo. Maybe you need it. Oh, now you've got the death card. <laughs> Don't drink yourself to death, Virgo. Do not drink yourself to death. Pace yourself, please. Okay, so, I mean, seriously, like, it's just going to be... Christmas Eve is going to be a very transforming... And for some of you who aren't drinking, with that temperance card in the reverse, I, I just kind of feel like there's going to be... Oh my gosh, like you're going to feel completely out of control and that something huge is changing. There's a big change, an ending and something brand new is starting here over the weekend um, and definitely around Saturday, definitely like this Christmas magic or the spirit or something coming in here for you. And I, like I said, it could be a love offer proposal, something very beautiful. Okay, let me see. Okay, Sunday. Okay, Four of Swords, Four of Needles, and the Devil. Wow. Well, this is definitely recovery from um, Virgo. Friday and Saturday. Okay, I know some of you are like, you don't touch a drop of any drinks or anything like that. But some of you will be. Okay, Sunday is going to be a day, and it's Christmas Day. <laughs> I feel like you're going to be in recovery mode from all this toxic juice you poured into your bloodstream. Seriously. So if you go out Friday or Saturday night, just make sure, like, if you don't want to feel like shit on Sunday, um, you know, take precaution, pace yourself. If you don't care, Sunday's definitely going to be a recovery day for you. Okay. For others, um... You know what? I just feel like the Christmas spirit is going to heal all some all this all this toxic energy, not the alcohol. You I feel like somebody here has just kind of been carrying around this sludge of toxicity all year long. And Sunday is going to be the 25th, the most healing day of all. There's recovery. I feel like somehow this magical toxic sludge is going to be gone on Sunday. Something's going to happen definitely over the weekend, but Sunday feels like this is rest. Now you can rest. Now you can be at peace on Sunday. This is crazy. This is such a crazy reading, the way this started and the way it's ending. It's very specific. Might be a little all over the map, so my apologies for that, but I just see like so many different energies showing up. Let me see here. What is your romance angels? Okay, worth waiting for. 
unrequited love in the reverse free yourself in the reverse so virgo somebody that you've been waiting for maybe for a lifetime someone that you've been waiting for this has all been worth it and this person is yep divine timing has been at work in your love life and for some of you this person is showing up look unrequited love in the reverse there is enough chemistry and attraction to keep this relationship going this is not unrequited love at all this is someone who is head over heels for you and you for them showing up over the weekend and free yourself is in the reverse this is like don't let go don't let go there's somebody here that is worth waiting for don't give up don't let go of this relationship it feels very special there's this Christmas magic. I'm telling you, I don't care if you only celebrate Hanukkah or any other, like Chris, the Christmas magic is the real deal. It is the real deal. Santa is bringing you something real nice, gift wrapped under your tree. Um, something maybe that you have been checking your list, uh, writing your list and checking it twice. Something that you may have wanted, that you've been manifesting, you've been doing some writing. Beautiful. Just so much beautiful energy with this. I can't. I'm actually, um, yeah, I'm going to leave your reading there because I'm super excited for you. What I'm going to do, you guys, is try to just push up the shorts, all right, in this time period while I get going here. I really wanted to try to um, make it a lot longer, but you know what, you guys? I'm going to do my very best to be back after the holiday season. So I will tell you all, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Keep your eye out for the shorts because I'll push them up so you'll at least have something every day until I'm back fully. But yeah, have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays all around you guys. And I will talk to you very soon. All right, take care.